most people buy a laptop for Blender the wrong way. They check the GPU, maybe the RAM and think that should be enough. But then viewports lag, sculpting feels slow and cycle renders take forever. The truth, two laptops with the same specs can perform differently. One can handle high poly models, smooth animation playback and quick EV previews while the other one struggles with just a basic scene. The reason? There is a key factor no one talk about but it makes all the difference. I've tested a ton of powerful laptop and one thing is clear. Specs on paper doesn't tell the full story. And here's the thing, there's one laptop on this list that outperforms even the prices model in real world Blender use. So that's why today we are going through 13 different laptops across different price ranges that are great for all kind of Blender work. But before talking about all these laptops in detail, there are 5 key things you should keep in mind. First up, the GPU. If you are using cycles, this is what really matters. The RTX 3050, bare minimum. It will work, but complex scenes will slow it down. And for Mac users, stick with the M2, M3 or the newly launched M4. Now the CPU. This controls simulations, is sculpting and animation playback. Ryzen 5 7th generation H series or Intel i5 12th generation H series is the baseline. But if you are dealing with physics scenes, fluid dynamics or complex animations, Ryzen 7 or the Intel i7 12th generation or newer makes a huge difference. RAM and storage just as important. 16 GB is the absolute minimum for Blender and the storage and VM. 500 GB is fine, but 1 terabyte or more is way better. SDD is just no. And here's where most people go wrong. If your laptop can't handle heat, performance will throttle. Even a high-end spec machine will feel slow if it overheats. By the way, if you're new here, I reviewed most of these laptops. You can find the specific laptop review playlist on my channel. Now let's start with the price range of 50 to 70,000, where you get some solid options from light to medium blender work. The Asus Tough Gaming A15 priced at $61,990 comes with the 6-core Ryzen 7 7435Hs, RTX 3050 with 95W of DGP and 16GB of DDR5 RAM. The high DGP on the RTX 3050 ensures better rendering speeds, making it a solid choice for animations, lightning setups and physics simulations. With 16GB DDR5 RAM, viewport performance remains smooth. Even for the moderately complex projects, a great balanced choice is the Asus Nitro V. Priced at $70,990 comes with the 8-core Ryzen 7 7735Hs, RTX 4050 with 6 GB of VRAM and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. The extra CPU code makes a big difference in Blender, especially for simulations and multitasking. Whether you're sculpting, texturing, or setting up animations, this laptop handles it well. For those who need more raw CPU power, the Dell G15, which is priced at around 75,990, with Intel Core i5 13450 HX, RTX 3050 with 95 watt of TGB and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM, making it ideal for CPU heavy tasks like the physics simulations and multitasking. If you plan to use Blender alongside Photoshop, Premiere Pro or After Effects, this laptop will keep things smoothly running. The high TGP on the RTX 3050 ensures faster rendering speed, making it one of the best options for multitaskers. Now let's jump to the 70 to 90,000 range, where you start getting into more capable hardware for heavy 3D modeling, complex rendering and even animation. Kicking things off with the Lenovo Log 2024 at 82,190 is an absolute workhorse for Blender users, featuring an 8-core Ryzen 7 7435Hs, 24 GB of DDR5 RAM and an 110 watt of RTX 4050 GPU. If you are dealing with high poly models, sculpting or complex in setups, this laptop won't disappoint. The 24GB of DDR5 RAM ensures smoother multitasking, letting you work on multiple assets simultaneously without slowdowns. The RTX 4050 delivers strong performance in cycle renders, making it perfect for professionals. If you want something similar with a slight variation, the Asus Tough Gaming A15 at 87,990 brings this same Ryzen 7 7435Hs and the RTX 4050 GPU, but with 16GB of DDR5 RAM instead. While the RAM is slightly lower, the 4050 still delivers excellent rendering speeds, and the DDR5 memory ensures smooth viewport performance. This setup is perfect for animations, lightning setup, and physics simulations. Now, if you are looking for a premium performance, the HP Victors at 91,990 packs a Ryzen 7 8845Hs and an RTX 4050, paired with 16GB of RAM and a 1TB SSD. This makes it a great choice for large-scale Blender projects, especially if you are working with the high-resolution textures, complex scenes or multiple assets. The 1TB SSD ensures faster load time and plenty of storage. Now, if you are ready to take things up a notch, the 90,000 to 1,30,000 range offers some of the powerful contenders for Blender work. 
Now we have come to the laptop that outperforms even the Pricer models in the real world Blender use. The Lenovo Log 2024, priced at 90,490, comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 7435HX, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, and an RTX 4060 Word 140W TGP. This laptop delivers faster cycle rendering, smooth viewport navigation, and real time ray tracing, all without breaking a sweat. Whether you are working with high poly models, sculpting, or animations, it keeps up with demanding workloads. And thanks to its strong cooling system, performance stays consistent even during long rendering. For macOS users, the MacBook Air 13 at 99,990 brings Apple's M4 chip with a 8 core GPU. While it lacks a dedicated GPU, Apple's Metal API optimizations make it great for EV rendering and motion graphics. However, for heavy cycle rendering, a more GPU heavy machines would be better. Now, the next laptop in this list is the Acer Predator Helios 16 at 1,9,000 is a workhorse for heavy rendering. Featuring an Intel Core i7-13700HX and the RTX 4060 with 140W GPU, it's great for a complex 3D environment, physics simulations, and high detailed models. Excellent cooling ensures consistent performance, making it ideal for professionals handling large-scale projects. Now, if you want AI-enhanced performance, the HP Omen Gaming AI at 1,25,990 comes with the Intel Core Ultra 7155H, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, and an RTX 4060. This powerhouse is optimized for AI-assisted rendering, simulations, and multitasking workflows. With strong cooling and AI-driven optimization, it's built for efficiency and high-end performance. Now, if you are after absolute top-tier performance, the laptop between the price range of 1,30,000 and above offers some of the serious powerful contenders. First up, the Asus Tough Gaming A15 at 1,37,990. This thing is a pure powerhouse with an AMD Ryzen 9 8945H and an RTX 4070 GPU. The 8-core Ryzen 9 delivers lightning-fast performance and rendering speeds, while the RTX 4070 makes sure you get smooth ray tracing and top-tier performance in Blender. Now, if you are someone who prefers Mac OS, the MacBook Pro 14 at 62,990 is worth a look. With the M4 chip, a 10-core CPU and a 10-core GPU, it's optimized for Apple's Metal API, making it great for motion graphics and creative work. With 16GB of unified memory, multitasking is smooth, but for heavy-duty cycle rendering, it's not the best option. If you are into EV rendering, modeling, or motion graphics, though, this MacBook is a solid option. Now, if you want the ultimate Blender machine, check out the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16 at 1,76,990. This beast is powered by the i9-4900HX, a 24-core monster paired with the RTX 4070. If your work involves complex simulations, high-end rendering, rendering on real-time ray tracing, this laptop is built for that. Need to render heavy 3D models without lag. Whether you are working on full-scale animation, massive 3D models, and advanced rendering tasks, these machines are built for that. If you are just starting out, a budget laptop with a decent GPU will get you through modeling and light rendering just fine. If you pick the right one, you will save some money and get the top-tier performance. If this video helped you, hit that like button. It takes a second but really helps. Now I want to hear from you which laptop would you pick. Or if you need a recommendation based on your Blender's specific need, drop a comment down below and I will try to help you out. If you are planning to buy one, check out the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links so you will get the best deals and it will help support the channel at no extra cost to you. Thanks for watching, stay awesome and as always keep vibing and I will see you in the next one.